Step 1. Enable WSL on Windows. Here's how. Open the Windows Features page. In the list, enable Virtual Machine Platform and Windows Subsystem for Linux. Click OK, and then restart your computer. Step 2. Install Ubuntu. Open the Microsoft Store and search for Ubuntu. Select your preferred version of Ubuntu and click Install. After installation, launch the Ubuntu app. It will ask you to create a username and password. This setup is only required the first time you open Ubuntu. Step 3. Install Necessary Packages. Now that Ubuntu is set up, let's install the packages needed for macOS virtualization. Open the Ubuntu terminal and run this command. This will install QEMU and other necessary tools. Be patient as this may take a few minutes depending on your internet connection. Use these commands to load KVM and configure it. For Intel CPUs. For AMD CPUs. If you're using an Intel CPU like me, run the first command. Next, add your user to the KVM and Libvirt groups to avoid permission issues. Step 6. Download macOS installer. Now, let's download the macOS installer. Run the following command and choose your desired macOS version. For example, option 6 for macOS Ventura. Step 7. Convert macOS installer to an image file. Once the installer is downloaded, we need to convert it into a usable image file. Run this command. Step 8. Create a virtual hard drive. Let's create a virtual hard disk for macOS. Use this command to create a 256 GB disk. Step 9. Install macOS. Now, let's install macOS. Use the OpenCore boot script to start the installation. Once the macOS installer launches, follow these steps.
select Disk Utility and format the virtual disk as APFS. Proceed with the macOS installation. This may take up to an hour, and the system will restart several times during the process. Don't worry, just let it complete. Step 10. Set up macOS. Once the installation is complete, follow the on-screen prompts to complete the initial setup of macOS. After that, you'll have a fully functional macOS virtual machine running on your Windows PC. Launching your macOS virtual machine. To launch the VM whenever you want to use it. Open the Ubuntu terminal. Navigate to the macOS KVM directory. Run the OpenCore boot script to start the macOS VM. This will boot your macOS VM using OpenCore as the bootloader. If this guide helped you out, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss future tech tutorials. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments, and I'll be happy to help.